And finally on front page, an exclusive. India unveils its first supercomputing processors. The next param moment. It's finally happening. India has just dropped the most important supercomputing revelation of the decade. And you won't hear this anywhere else. Trust me. Because we got it directly from the man building India's sovereign compute backbone. E. Magesh. Director General of CDAC. On the sidelines of Supercomputing India 2025 in Bengaluru, he very quietly confirmed something India has never said publicly, which is India's own supercomputing processors, CPUs, GPUs and AI accelerators are all now in advanced development and are arriving very soon. This is India officially entering the global arena as a chip designing supercomputing nation. And tonight, we break down that very roadmap exclusively. But before we start, like, share, subscribe. This one genuinely matters. So to understand why this changes everything, we need to rewind back to the Param era. In 1991, after being denied supercomputers by the West, India built Param 8000 from scratch. Then came Param 10,000 in 1998, Param Siddhi AI in 2020, Top 100 Globally Param Rudra, Arka, Arunika 2021 to 2024, Param 10,000 in 2024. So India's new AI HPC workhouse with each Param generation was also a message. If the world won't give us compute, we build our own. But until now, India still relied on imported CPUs, GPUs and accelerators. Today, that changes. This exclusive roadmap takes India from supercomputing systems to supercomputing silicon, the final frontier. India's publicly announced HPC CPU Ohm now, which has an updated clarity, which is 96 core based on ARM. Neoverse V2 designed with MOS chip, which was from India, plus Socio Next, which is from Japan, built on TSMC 5 nanometer, which is part of India's NSM 2.0 push for 70% plus indigenization. Sampling is expected around 2026, confirmed again by Magesh. This is the first time a CDAC chief has given a very clear sampling window on camera. This part has never been publicly detailed ever before. That's what makes this so much more special. Magesh, of course, went on to confirm India has been working for two years on a fully indigenous ground up 128 core RISCV HPC processor. No x86, no ARM full architecture architectural control designed for India's exascale ambitions, built entirely in India. So this is India's boldest compute project since Param Siddhi AI. You may have actually heard the rumors about India building GPUs. Tonight, we confirm CDAC is developing India's first indigenous GPU with 2000 plus cores RS, RISCV, architecture optimized for HPC plus AI fusion workloads. The only regions that design GPUs at this scale are the United States, China, Europe and India now joins that list. Already deployed in Rudra class Param systems, switchless 3D torus fabric ultra low latency built in India removes dependency on foreign interconnect vendors. This is actually how India scales very cheaply and more importantly, efficiently. All CDAC supercomputers already use this, direct contact liquid cooling, cold plates on CPU slash GPU, dual stage heat exchange, which dramatically lower PUE. So with the global compute hitting an energy ceiling, India is already 
on the right cooling stack. Now, here is the front page take and we are very proud to give this one. This is India's biggest compute upgrade since Param 8000. But for all the announcements, one moment stood out, an unusually honest one. Magesh told us this. Yes, India started slow, but now we are accelerating faster than anyone because we are not assembling machines anymore. We are designing the entire stack ourselves, end quote. That's the story. India didn't lack capability, no. India lacked time. Now, we are compressing a 20-year gap into the next five. This is compute sovereignty. This is strategic independence. And this is the next param moment, but much, much bigger. Thank you.